Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another foundation review and today we're going to be reviewing the new Tarte Amazonian 16 hour clay foundation. I picked up the mini size. This is available in the full size and the mini size. I think the full size retails for $39 and I think I paid about $20 for this. I, I can't remember the exact price but this is what it looks like. And I picked up the shade 51 Neutral. And the reason why I went with the mini size because I just felt like I wanted to try the foundation out first before I went out and bought a full size. Now if I like it, I'll eventually get the full size. It's just right now I have too many foundation that I'm trying to get through. So I did not want to go out and buy another full size bottle of foundation just in case I didn't like it. I was looking at the foundation shades. There are a lot of shades of this foundation. I believe there are over 40 shades. And in the mini size, of course, you don't get that many different shades and the many as you do full but i'm gonna read a little bit about this foundation this is a oil free 16 hour full coverage foundation formulated with amazonian clay for a lightweight feel and a matte finish the coverage is full the finish is matte okay so i'm going to prime my face with my Givenchy prism um mattifying primer Before I um, put my foundation on and concealer, I like to use like to put some type of under eye primer on. And today I'm going to use my YSL under eye primer. That's just because I have creasy eyes, and this just helps with the creasing. Now, does it stop me from creasing? No, but I notice when I'm using this, I don't crease as fast as I normally do. mentioned earlier I got the shade um, 51 neutral I always go with a neutral undertone so let's do a quick swatch I believe this matches I know the other foundation they just came out with what is it the something hydroflex that shade was just off the undertone was off I did not like that hopefully this matches like it might work and this is thick but it's kind of like that's what it looks like. This kind of feels like a, a mousse or something. You, hopefully y'all get what I'm saying and I ain't sounding crazy. Ooh. Okay, y'all, I'm back with this foundation on. This is what my face is looking like. I love it so far. Um, the coverage is definitely there with this. You don't need to put a lot of this on to cover any blemishes on your face. I think I put a little too much foundation on. I probably could have used just one, uh, well, it's not a pump, but I probably could have just used one little squeeze. I feel like the shade was an okay shade match. Um, once it dried down, it did start to look a lot better than what it was with looking. With the dry down, this dries down quick and it dries down matte. Of course, it is a matte foundation, so you have to work quickly with this. Or I would suggest if you're going to use this with a brush, I would say go and, um, apply the foundation to one side of your face before going to the other side and if you're using a sponge with this I would definitely use like a damp sponge because this really dries down quickly and it dries down so, I'm gonna wear this for a couple hours and then I'll be back yes this is a 16 hour um, foundation no I am not going to wear this for 16 hours I'm gonna wear this for maybe a normal eight hour day and then I'll be back to let y'all know what I think but so far I love it like I'm loving the finish I feel like my face looks very flawless right now so I'll see y'all in a couple hours okay y'all I'm back after having this foundation on for about eight hours this is what my face is looking like as you see I am starting to get a little shiny around my t-zone area which I always do I have oily skin in part of this video I did say that there were a lot of shades I went back again to look at the shade range again and yes there are a lot of shades but there are not a lot of deep shades I think I've seen maybe 15 deep shades I could be exaggerating by saying 15 I'm gonna say there's about 10 to 15 deep shades and the other 30 shades or 35 however many shades there are they're not deep shades so that's a problem 
But other than that, I do like how this foundation looks on my skin right now after wearing it all day. I feel like my face looks pretty good for having this on for almost eight and a half, nine hours, especially in the hot and humid weather. This was definitely made for someone with oily skin. I have oily skin and I typically go for a full coverage matte foundation, especially during the summertime months. And this was perfect for today. When I am doing my reviews and I'm looking at my monitor and I'm under the lights, I can't really see sometimes how the foundation shade looks until I go get up and look in the mirror or if I watch it back on um, the camera. I will say this is not my perfect shade. I could make this shade work, but this is not my perfect shade. I have not found my exact shade match in Tarte um, foundations. I could make this work, but it is not my exact shade. So like when I was putting this on, it was looking a little golden. And then once it dried down, it just, it was looking a little weird at first. I think I mentioned that earlier. I don't think 51 Neutral is my exact shade. I know that other foundation, I think I got shade 53S. That's not a good shade for me either. So I try to go and store it swatch to find my exact shade. But if you use me as a shade reference, 51, I would say it didn't work for me. I kind of expected this to start feeling a little heavy on my face because the texture of this is very thick. It's like a thick mousse. So I automatically felt like, okay, this is going to feel kind of heavy on my face, but this feels super lightweight on my skin. It feels like I don't have anything on. And this does have a light scent to it. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I was not expecting to like this foundation a lot. I do like it and I am going to go buy a full size. I don't know when I'm going to get the full size, but definitely not right now. And I'm when I do pick up a full size of this, I'm going to go in store and get shade matte. Yeah. 1 to 10 I would give this foundation a 10 that's how much I like it like if you have oily skin this was made for you go pick up a mini size try it out see if you like it anyway y'all those are my thoughts on the new Tarte Amazonian clay 16 hour foundation don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later bye